Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim's ruling coalition secured a comfortable victory in a Selangor by-election on May 11, in a vote seen as a gauge of whether a slew of recent controversies had soured support for Malaysia's ruling alliance. Ms. Pang Sok Tao from the Democratic Action Party DEP, one of the four members of Detek Seri Anwar's Pakatan Harapan PH Alliance, polled 14,000 votes, or about 57.2% of the valid votes, to retain the DEP's stronghold in Kuala Kubu Baharu. KKB, as it is known, is located about an hour's drive north of Kuala Lumpur. The vote was called after the Tritum incumbent. Miss Lee Ki Hyang of the DEP died of ovarian cancer on March 21. The candidate for the opposition Parikata National Alliance, Mr. Cairo S. Ari Sot, received 10,131 votes 41. For percent in the four-way contest in the nominal majority seat of 40,226 voters. The total turnout was 61.5%, Malays made up 49.3% of the total voters, Chinese 30. 6. Indians 17.9, and others 2.1%. The other two contenders, from Part 1 Rakyat Malaysia, a small party, and an independent candidate, lost their deposits, as they did, not receive enough votes. Ms. Pam's strong polling numbers douse the predictions of PH critics that the ruling coalition would win by a small margin or even lose its KKB stronghold, in the worst-case scenario. According to this narrative, both ethnic Chinese and Indian voters are starting to have doubts about Mr. Anwar's so-called unity government following a raft of controversies. These included petrol bomb attacks aid on by a Malay leader on a Chinese-owned supermarket. And former Premier Najib Razak getting a big discount on his jail sentence for corruption. PH supporters have also been disappointed with the slow progress of the 18-month-old government in implementing institutional reforms. Alongside growing concerns over the rising cost of living and the economic slowdown. But in the end, the 57.2% gained by Ms. Pang, who is 31 and running in her first election, was an improvement over the 54% secured by the late Ms. Lee in the Selangor State Polls in August 2023. Many had expected a reduced majority outcome for PH, but this is a validation that their traditional vote base is still intact. However, by-elections in Malaysia are poor predictive tools for national political dynamics and the general election, said Mr. Amir Farid Rahim, Strategy Director of KRA Group. A Political Risk Consultancy Ms. Pang, who is the Press Secretary to the Housing and Local Government Minister, Mr. Na Kor Ming, had in April expressed confidence in winning the state seat. Citing the significant support from the Malay community during her campaign. Said political analyst James Chin, there were a lot of sympathy votes for the late Miss Lee, who passed away under tragic circumstances. DEP was quite clever to keep Mr. Anwar away from the campaign, so the focus of the campaign was on the PN candidate, who was uninspiring. Following the victory, PM Anwar congratulated PH and the Unity Government on DEP's victory. DEP Secretary General Anthony Loke, congratulations on the victory in the Kuala Kubu Baharu by election. A fight to victory. And now we defend that win, he said at a party function on May 11. According to the Star, Selangor's Chief Minister Omiruddin Sherry said in a statement that PH's victory was a signal that they don't want an agent of division to represent them. Referring to the opposition's often used tactic of playing up religion and race issues. Instead, the people want unity and solidarity as the basis to bring economic advancement in the state and country that would upgrade the status and quality of life for all, said Datuk Seri Omiruddin.